by YouTube. It's your boy Crypto Roots, and we taking a a barefoot jungle mountain hike. And I thought I'd spit some crypto game. And uh, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you for showing the love. Uh, I'll be able to start doing cooler uh, cooler things on my channel now. So I appreciate that. Now that I got my subs up. So. I want to talk about Bitcoin's immune system. Yes, Bitcoin's immune system. And people are like, what the fuck is this crazy stoner dude talking about? Bitcoin doesn't have an immune system. It's a software program, you know? And let, let, me, let me start from the beginning when I explain this. Do you know what a patent is? Do you know what a patent is? You know, a patent is a legal piece of paper saying that you own all rights to this, this idea. And if anybody were to distribute the idea, then they would legally owe you money or you could sue them if they were to profit off your idea. That's a patent. Uh, patents are heavy in the computer industry, the software industry. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, you got Microsoft, you got Apple, you got a lot of these big name, IBM, you got a lot of these big companies that own patents to all their software and some of their hardware, depending on whatever it is. Patents are heavy in the centralized legal game. Now, what is open source? Open source is the exact opposite of a patent. A patent say, hey, this is my idea. I came up with it or someone gave me the rights to this idea and it's mine. And only a few people that I choose can work on this idea or if just me. And if you were to use my idea, I can sue you. Now, open source, it says, hey, I came, in, I came up with an idea. It's free for anyone to use. If you like it, you can even start a business off of it. Um, you, can, you can improve it. You can add an idea. You can, take, you can do whatever with it. And it doesn't matter to me. That's called open source. Now, what happens in the end? What happens in the end is open source creates a stronger, robust, resilient product. Patents always create an inferior product when we talk about software, especially when it comes to software. Why is that? Well, when you patent everything off, like I said, you close it off. But when you open source the idea, you share it with the world. Now, that 16-year-old Indian kid who's a genius can have access to your idea, even though he's not in your country and can't work for your corporation. That 35-year-old Russian woman can now access your idea. That 18-year-old uh, black kid in Oakland can access your idea. So you're open your idea to the whole world, and now these people who are actually interested and who want to contribute can do so freely without asking. And some people may take your idea and actually start a fork it, which is they copy the source code and start their own their own idea based off your idea. Now, what ends up happening is that the, if your idea is good enough and people like it, people not only will protect the creator, they'll donate to the creator and they'll develop for the creator. There's a lot of open source code that the developer, like, like Bitcoin, doesn't even touch anymore. Doesn't even touch. I wouldn't know what uh, Satoshi, to be honest, but... There's a lot of like there's a lot of computer coders that start it, open source it, and don't even work on the code no more. It's maintained by passionate developers around the world. So that's what happens with open source. And because you have all these ideas 24-7, you got people fixing bugs right away. As soon as there is a vulnerability, right away. They have overnight bitcoins and, th and ethereum summits of developers around the they have overnight uh emergency bitcoin and ethereum summits where developers immediately drop everything they fly anywhere around the world at the drop of a dime to meet up with other developers to figure out how to solve this problem efficiently and right away because that is not only the integrity of the blockchain that's multi billions of dollars that are on the line like so people drop it all at the drop of a dime to to just go and fix bitcoin like you ain't never like there's and over some software dude like that's how powerful uh these blocks these open public blockchains are 
You know what I'm saying? So that's because of open source. So Bitcoin grew up on the internet. Bitcoin grew up on the internet. Bitcoin has been attacked, has been tried to been hacked, at like constantly, like since day one, since it was an infant, it's gotten, it's viruses have been thrown on it, germs, diseases, and Bitcoin has fought back. Developers have stayed on top of the code. Satoshi has uh, helped it when it first started. Satoshi was fixing all the vulnerabilities. Then you had people more passionate helping them out. And Bitcoin has been had a 26 block uh, fork. Like that, it's just that's deep technical shit. But I'm telling you, every, every single every, there's a there's a multi billion dollar bounty for anyone who can hack the Bitcoin source code. Like look it up on I'll I'll, I'll post a link in the description, but. The shit is crazy, yo. Like when you when you when you drop your pride and drop your ego, you know what I'm saying? And you and you share it with the world regardless of whether you get compens get compensated or not, there's still ways to profit off open source technology. So let let your ego go and start open sourcing or contributing to open source projects. If you don't know how to program, just simply reading and editing can help can help you contribute to open source projects because that's how that's true freedom is open source software and bitcoin has some of the the absolute mo most robust immune system out of any software program that has ever existed so much love and aloha peace